Celebration is one of the very essence of living and that's why we make it a point of duty to celebrate people and their achievement and also celebrate lives well spent. A warm welcome to you and thank you once again for keeping a date with us on the program Metrophile. I'm Ogich Kwasi. He has served Nigeria in various capacities, both within the country and on missions abroad. Now, he is one of the most respected and accomplished diplomats in Nigeria, a worthy son of Ijebu land in Ogu State, and most importantly, a very proud Nigerian, Ambassador Oluyemi Adeniji. Now, he's celebrating good health, successful career, and family at 80. One of those special days in the life of an accomplished diplomat, Ambassador Olu Adeniji, and he certainly is not celebrating alone. His family and friends join him at the Cathedral Church of Our Saviour in his hometown, Ijebuode, Ogu State, Southwest Nigeria. On this day, he joined the League of Octogenarians and his lovely wife, Margaret, children and grandchildren made the celebration a grand one. Ambassador Adeji enjoys tremendous goodwill and respect among the people, especially from the high echelon of the society, some of whom grace the event. Dignitaries here include former Commonwealth Secretary General, Chief Emeka Anyoku and wife, the Chairman of FCMB, Otumba Shibumi Balogu and wife, former Nigerian High Commissioner to the United Kingdom, Dr. Christopher Kolade, High Chiefs from Ijebuland, amongst other well-meaning friends of the celebrant. If there is anybody in Nigeria who should be nominated again for Nobel Prize in Peace, I think Papa should be number one. And I, I don't know, it may come, it may come, it may come, because not only is he celebrating the number of years spent on earth, he is also celebrating a successful career and family. Members of the Ijebuode Grammar School Old Students Association, which happens to be the alma mater of the celebrant, went back to memory lane by singing the school anthem. That was immediately followed by a special birthday song. And it's a wrap for the church service.
Ambassador Olua Deniji is one of our nation's most accomplished diplomats. He's had a wide-ranging experience in diplomacy and I'm very glad to be here to join in celebrating his 80th birthday. More good health, longer life and God's richest blessings on all of us, the celebrants, the family. Life has taught me to be patient and uh, to take things as they are. Uh, I've become wiser a little and uh, I hope that uh, I will be able to employ this uh, virtues uh, as for. The celebration continued at the Adeola Ututola Hall. Octogenarians at the occasion celebrate and welcome the celebrants in their own way. And finally, he cuts his cake. I'm free. Well, there's a lot of power still left in all these 80 year old men. Congratulations. Congratulations. You, Jesus. Ambassador Oluyemi Adeniji has served the country in different capacities on missions abroad as well as Ministry of Foreign Affairs. He was appointed Minister in the Permanent Mission to the United Nations New York in 1970. And on Ambassadorial Mission, he was Nigerian Ambassador to Austria in 1976, Ambassador to Switzerland and Permanent Representative to the United Nations in Geneva in 1977, an ambassador to France in 1987. In 1991, he was appointed Director General of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, a position he held until his retirement in February 1994. And in 2003, former President Olusha Gwambasanjo invited him to serve in his cabinet as Minister for Foreign Affairs. Later, he was transferred to the Ministry of Interior in 2006 a post he held until the end of the Obasanjo regime in 2007. The celebrant no doubt looks forward to celebrating more birthdays ahead. <laughs>